Hello and welcome to Milo Murphy Vlog, the thing and finale sort of. There will be, apparently it can be like two bonus episodes next week in the Halloween episode, so I'm assuming the other one is a Thanksgiving episode. Nah, could have become a film most likely. I guess they wanted to make one in some way and not have to wait to be in two, which I think is smart. Um, go, so I guess we'll go. Yeah, but in the meantime, this, I was debating on whether to do a Milo P Vlog, but I think I got up early enough to watch it first, so I might as well. Go, well, let's do it before 10.30, but I probably can't avoid 941 right now. Um, anyway, Fungus Among Us, written by Scott Peterson and Rashida Pirouette. So, this basically continues from where I lost off in Mixing Milo. In fact, it begins with a recap previously in Milo Machine Law. You know, to tell you know, what happened. And so, go, so, Vum Vick will have points for that code. And, the, so, that, so, but basically, basically, they get, basically after, they can't start the episode, they get a message, apparently, from 1965, they're past them in 1965, and basically, from that message, they figure, okay, they'll go out to 1965 and figure out what that's all about. And basically, what happened that we end, even though they killed King Potashi and whatever, one of Potashi people actually went to time stream and ended up in 1955, and I guess now 10 years later, 1965, he started organizing the master plan that they must stop. Next, essentially. Basically, it's very much a sequel to Missing Mile because of all the obsession people and racking up and stuff that they must stop. Not reaction scarily, but definitely continue kind of in that same thread. By the way, no fungus. I was really disappointed. Like, you're out to no fungus, no fungi, fun people? <laughs> Um, I couldn't make a, uh, I could make a very clever Spongebob reference, speaking of which I'll get to that. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, funny, <laughs> better just get the Gat Game script of that, but, uh, go to them and give Bobby very mediocre. But, yeah, anyway, go to the it's kind of hard to gain a whole lot because a lot of it, even spoiler stuff, or, and, or just them kind of running around doing things, and I don't want to spoil every joke, but, in general, this was really fun. In a way, I kind of liked it a little more in Mickey Milo. That had a little more in terms of plot, but I think this one had a kind of better comedy and plot balance to an extent. You know, and I didn't really have any problems with it going on its own. It was really enjoyable. I think a lot of them running around, but it got a lot of action. You know, a lot of fun, and it got a lot of lore. And again, we basically find out how they ended up finding out the Grand Mountain to create the Dr. Moon, and, you know, do all that stuff, you know. Um, and that, that's gonna be cool. Um, begin, um, it, I think like in the other one, like, look hard to kind of push the guy because of other things, but, oh well. Um, don't worry, it's the cat. Go, go the door, go, go, yeah, close. Okay, we're back, okay. Anyway, yeah, that guy look hard to push the guy in the corner, like, in Mickey Mouse house. But they get a few lines like early on, so, and I still make that going forward will be more important. Yeah. They don't seem involved much in the really plot heavy episode, but oh well. Um, it took a revelation to go, I don't know, most of it is tied to the Mickey Mouse stuff, and, you know, there's nothing too crazy. The most biggest revelation is the end, but we'll get to that. Um, Honestly, not an awful lot to like mention in terms of jokes and quoting, because it's a lot of actually amusing things. There is one where they do a time card, and it's two hours later, and it's not only stylized very similarly to one you might see on SpongeBob, but it's even narrated by a French guy. They go, so, I can't see it as not a reference. I was not expecting that. I mean, it was an episode called Fungus Among Us, I was expecting no connection to SpongeBob, but there was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, probably going to win against that DB. But why do you call fungus among us? I get confronted with potassium people, but they're not fungus or fungi or whatever. So why would they call it that? There's no reason. There's no connection. I mean, not that egg is not kind of fungus, but it's fungus like. Well, it counts. But, but yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of other fun jokes in it. Just, I don't know, there's a lot of fun fat based stuff in this one. And a lot of good plot stuff and a lot of cool stuff. Wow. <laughs> I don't know, but they're gonna 
fun stuff to the only stuff. It's not a lot to say, surprisingly. But that might just be because of um, the nature of it all, I guess. Because a lot of it is a lot of running around. There's a lot of stuff I don't really want to spoil. I really like the intense game of this one. More you more on the game out I think this one's better than that one because, like I said, I feel like it's better. It's a lot of comedy balance again. But it's a lot of really interesting stuff of them, you know, what will be intent and then trying to get out of a situation. You know, especially. Um, are there any any further I'm going to mention? One well, guy, <laughs> for the <laughs> one. Um, <laughs> Um, not necessarily. Probably even a little to really talk about. But I can't find like every joke. And the fun one, one, the biggest one I can really think of in terms of jokes. So, well, I'm. Again, it's just, uh. But, um, we were all theorizing what would happen. And there were a few, like, random pictures and showing that promo. And now we have all contact to them and what happened. Um, so, you know. But what I was not expecting this one is a cliffhanger. But I, I'm expecting one. But I figured they, like Mickey Mouse, kind of wrap up the plot, but then go, wait, there's more, and then to be continued there. But in this one, it's good like a cliffhanger. The plot is not resolved. It is basically get a part one. Um, to not think which we have to go to 2018. Gonna go back and clean to begin. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we have two episodes are gonna be off fluff. I hope. I don't know if we're getting any. But, but, Apparently, we'll both be 22 minutes at least, so obviously, we're gonna probably get featured sneak him out of my potassium people. Potassium protection. We won't be on potassium protection and stuff like that now. Um, for all protection. Um, man, when the show started, I don't. We're not betting with. Like, when the potassium. We knew about what character, but um, they already announced to be potassium protection from the future. Go. We were like, that could be a big thing or it could be a joke. At first, it was a little joke, but then it grew. I didn't, when we started, I didn't think we'd get from there to here. Um, as for a cliffhanger itself, well, it involved them trying to find Professor Time, the Avenger Time Channel. And we were all wondering, but what about a game year in Athens? And even in the logo, because there were some contradictions. Okay, when it came out time, they mentioned Gary and Athens, way of the go. Well, two. Time trial, but the, I, I guess from that perspective, maybe he didn't make it because remember he traveled to the future, aka they he didn't fish time from that perspective, even though you know, he did. And he, if in the time they mentioned the time machine, he broke it there, next day, um, or he 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 didn't finish it, or he would be here today. But then, Quan Bugu, we find out he traveled to 20 meters in past, whatever time that takes place. Um, and, um, then, and then he got to stay there because of corn dogs, and can keep Bad Time Machine to go back and do her shenanigans. Bad Time Machine broke, they went to Phineas and said, okay, the Time Machine, at the beginning of that broken one, we'll fix it up, and then we'll do blah blah blah. And at the beginning, it was already there. So, how did he touch out there? I guess, mate, oh, maybe he created a prototype and then finished product, and the prototype stayed there. And that's the one, and because he's not there anymore, because he time traveled, they kind of assumed that he didn't finish it, or something. I don't, I don't, that. again, even in Vogue up and over, contrary to doing a thing I don't understand. But, um, but maybe because of that, they, he perfected time or time travel, because he's the one who publicly gave it invented. He didn't vote for anything else, he didn't prefer to time travel. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> Anyway, and we get, and they go to what they be for time dressing, and that is where we end things. You know, I don't see a reason to hide the identity because it's spoiled in the promo, but to be nice, I will. But you can probably, probably guess who it is and just bang down once. Uh, but, um, it's not for for spoilers. That would be more insane if that was the case. Like, that would make more sense. But, um, we'll probably get an explanation for what, what happened to Gavion and Atkins. I hope it's not an oversight in their egg explanation. Um, especially with what happened at the end. But, yeah, from the Kamong Market, I surprisingly didn't have much to say. I'll kind of talk about that point a bit. So, over, but overall, for King Valley, it's it really intense and funny. You know, I, I like more Mickey Mouse because I feel like in story and stuff like that a little stronger. Mouse gets a lot of bad moments, they all get a lot of 
don't know. You can keep to bear up. Come back to show him more human than just kind of like gossip with the guy. Come here, go. Find him bad after. Go <laughs> with yeah, that. Um, there's a Kong in this one. I come back on a Kong. A lot of them in the last batch. Most of them kind of get a little fun a little bit, but not the most memorable compared to the one that's going on clean. You know, but, um, but, oh well, like, it's not that big of a deal. You know, um, but yeah, in spite of being, you know, a liar, no fungus, it was really enjoyable. And I, again, like I said, it's good for Cambridge again that making my little ones, but I like this one a little more because it just has, I just kind of about looking more vetted. You know, like half the time, but there you go. So, yeah, back to the finale. That's a cliffhanger, so it all feel like the season is going to truly end it, but we're going to get two more episodes of that. I'll get again, but I'll quit how all the episodes which they had no choice but to just air out order. So I understand that. I, but they have good a good job airing up episodes in order, unlike Phineas, but they're going to storyline, so I have to air them in order. But there's a couple where they got married with Shory, you watch them, and so we could have flopped them around. But as far as we know, they haven't, they haven't flopped them around. Um, only for V2 episode coming up, and I get why. But, um, so for the most part, that bottom of the glass new one. On the blog in November, I'll do a book at it, and I'll go into deep detail about, and I'll rewatch the episode, so I'll have more perspective. I can go to now, I believe, only the first few I've watched more than once. And the first one I've watched a few times by now. <laughs> That's for very clean and so I'm found pine grade in my brain by this point. In the go, can't wait to top ten rookery in ten years. <laughs> but uh um but yeah, I'll go into detail about how clean one was, but you know, again go two bonus go go to bonus and they take me before the one go. But he won again, there's a lot of pros and cons to it, but in general very enjoyable for the and they kept going, they got it going without the little ending go. So. It, it kind of curled especially in conjunction with Phoenix Verb and how it came able to stand out, and, you know, a lot. But I believe when I when we get to that point, I'll talk a little more about that. But I'll go talk a lot about that in the post. But when I talk about there, I, we do have the crossover coming up, and that kind of could be a start of into more likely. And when we get to there, I'll talk maybe a bit more about that, because we'll know how it played out, but now we're... We obviously have an idea that we can't judge by, but we don't know exactly how a crossover is, and whatever, so... That's the key then. But they're a funk among them. They're highly enjoyable, for pretty highly enjoyable for the I think. So, there you go. Um, so, next week is the Halloween episode. Again, the first of the bonus episode. So, yeah, the Marvel for Gone Halloween. <laughs> yeah, man, I can only imagine what happened. I'm more looking forward to the Christmas one. It complied. It's not publicly stated, but it complied. Um, that yeah, Christmas one. Go. I'm more forward to that one, but Halloween should be very enjoyable. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to a new LP coming later that I'll be here to talk to you about right after it ends. Go. So I shall see you guys later. But, get that. but hey, next week will be the last month of the for the while. Come December. So I'll have to be like two months. So, um,. So, then, I'll probably go more about how, okay, we love a lot of work here talking about the show, but, um, it was fun, it was fun. So, I shall see you later for MLP, and it's gone long enough, go goodbye.